Hello, today we're going to make authentic Chinese low-fat ramen noodle bowls. And these are absolutely delicious. It's great for fall, great for winter when you got those colds and you're kind of stopped up and you have sinuses. It's very healthy, very quick, very simple, not to mention delicious. So what we're going to need are... These are like little strips of chicken that I cut up. And when I go to restaurants and things, it just seems like to me they don't put enough meat in the food. So I make my own, you know. And pretty much that's the time we're coming to now is cooking in our own kitchens and learning how to cook healthy meals for our family. Because eating out, well, I'm sure everyone has their own stories about that. And you're going to need one carrot, which I've chopped here. A piece of fresh ginger, peeled and chopped, and two cloves of garlic. Now the reason I have not put onions in this yet is because my son hates onions. I've made several videos about that, so I kind of have to, you know, maneuver around that. But I would suggest definitely to chop up one whole onion with this, okay, if you're into onions, which I am, but unfortunately... You have to please everyone in the household. So, another thing I want to mention is I do believe in clean cooking, okay? Um, your kitchen should be at least semi-bleached and washed down. I mean, even if you have four dishes in the sink, nobody's perfect. But my kitchen is clean, and I do pre-wash my meats all the time in every video, even if I don't show it. Now, I do want to make a video on how to wash your meats because I know there's a lot of people out there that do not have the knowledge on how to properly wash certain meats. Chicken, whether it has skin on it or not, whether it has bones or not, must be soaked in at least two tablespoons of vinegar. It could be white vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Um, and at least, you know, the rest of it, water. Let it sit for a few minutes. Come back, drain it, rinse it, and drain it again. Because the meats now are just not, um, they're just not <laughs> reliable. Um, also, one day it was pretty scary to tell you this story right quick. I did um, pre-wash a whole chicken and I promise you it looked like a laboratory or something. There was so much gunk coming off that chicken from that vinegar water. It was just <laughs> horrific. So please pre-wash your meats. Whether it be beef, pork, I don't care what it is. And definitely use vinegar because it kills bacteria, it kills germs. And that's what we're trying to do. But aside from that... Um, I have apple cider vinegar, and I'm going to let you know what I'm about to do with that. And I have light soy sauce, because we are cutting down on the salt as well as the fat. And I would suggest that you go out and get a package of these wonderful Chinese noodles of your choice, okay? Because that's what makes the ramen bowl. And of course, um, you're going to need some eggs. And I have some ground ginger here, but there's going to be more spices added and water. Okay, let's get started. Um, we have a pot here with, I want to say, three to four tablespoons of olive oil. The reason being, this does make a big meal. This type of meal stretches, everybody eats, everybody's healthy. So it's also not only going to save you money, it's going to save you time. It's definitely going to save you calories. Not to mention the health benefits you're going to get from this. So... While that's heating up, I also want to suggest, I know they're very expensive here in America. Yes, they definitely are. Um, to go out and buy some Raymond bowls, um, because the Raymond bowls are going to hold like a lot of the soup in the food, which I don't have at this time, but I would suggest that. So what we're going to do now is transfer to the stove, and we'll be right back. So now we're at the wonderful stove, and as you can see, I have some Chinese things up here that are wonderful. Okay, back to the cooking. <laughs> we're going to add our vegetables. 
And this is a pretty high. I better turn it down to like a medium high here. I had it up high because it heat up real quick. You want to add that in. You do not want to burn your veggies or your garlic or your onion. And you just kind of render this down a bit. I got it a little hot. That's true. <laughs> Now everything's going to cook like the vegetables and all that, so let's um, get the chicken in here. This is the cut up chicken. It's okay if you get the chicken juice in there because of course it's all going to cook. Just be careful with this stuff. Be careful where you place it. Be careful how you handle it. kind of started here you know now what we're going to do is add our seasoning which I'm going to put a tablespoon of the ginger I want to put about two tablespoons of the soy sauce because that's what makes it about a tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar and we're going to use a tablespoon of parsley flakes to make it pretty And if you're like me, I like a little spice. All Asian cooking to me should have spice. I'm just that way. So let's add, I want to say, maybe some paprika for color. Give a smoky thing. And also like a tablespoon of red pepper for heat. I do like a little heat in my soups and my stews. Everybody's different. Doesn't mean you have to bash whoever. I mean, you know, just everybody likes what they like. A tablespoon of black pepper. Everything's a tablespoon. That way, nobody can say, well, you didn't say. Okay. And you're just going to render this down. Turn it up just a little bit. Now, the olive oil is healthy. Now, for me, I'm just going to add just a sliver because this stuff can get a little, you know, fattening here. Just a sliver of this sesame seed oil. Yes, I made up a new measurement word, sliver. And that's the thing with the kitchen. You can make up things and keep going. <laughs> but the ginger in here is really what's going to be the kicker, okay? Now to this. I'm going to add about this much water because the water is what's going to do it, okay? Make the, the stock, so to speak, and we're going to let this cook with the lid on. I want to say for about, let's give it about 15 and come back. Well, let's do 20 to be safe with chicken. 20 to 25 okay to be on the safe side so I think another thing I want to add well since we did add soy sauce I wouldn't add too much salt but let's add some of this about a tablespoon and also the vinegar so you don't want to get too salt happy I'd say that's a good big tablespoon okay we're gonna let this cook down again for about 20-25 minutes and we'll be back